Thanks for showing up to watch this video. These videos are a kind of old hat from my Patreon site, but they're now released to the public, so I hope you find them helpful, and if you do, please like and share them. For the latest, newest daily readings, affirmations, every day, for lessons on how to read tarot, how to enhance your own psychic abilities, to have magical healing gemstones sent to your house every month that angels picked out for you, please check out my site, patreon.com slash terribly accurate. Let's get right to the video then. Hi Patreon, this is your intro to Wands video, so we'll just, I'm sorry, Wands, we did Wands last time, we're doing cups today, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I just pulled a couple cards out that have cups on them um, to illustrate my point as we kind of move along through uh, the overview. So first of all, cups are associated to water signs, and water signs are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Now, um, cups represent your emotions. How do you feel about something, okay? Now, um, anytime that you see water in tarot, it's about your feelings. So there's going to be other cards that are not necessarily cups. For example, the Temperance card has water in it. The Star card has water in it. A lot of cards have water in it, and that's about your feelings, how you're feeling, your emotions. Um, so cups are often about pleasure. They can be about your psychicness, about your intuition, um, love, love for sure, relationships, connectedness. Um, they're kind of a passive card. Like you don't get to control them the way that you can control wand energy. Uh, it's a female energy, but we all have female and masculine in us. So that's not to say these cards are only for girls, anything like that. Um, it's about being receptive. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that you know is when we're reading cards in order to tell time, I think I explained this in the wands video, but I have them flip-flop from what the internet or books might say. So they say that um, cups are spring and no, cups are summer and wands are spring, but I read them opposite. I read them as cups are spring and wands are summer. And part of the reason why I do that is April showers bring May flowers, right? We need the water from the cups in order to grow the wands. So um, you can choose whatever fits best for you, but if you look this up online, you'll find a different um, representation of telling time with those, the spring months um, for me, but summer months for others. Now, what else did I want to say about this? So, uh, cups are always about expression of feelings, um, thinking with your heart instead of with your head, with your logic, because that would be a sword's energy. It's about creativity, romance, fantasy, your imagination. Now, when they're reversed, it can talk about being over-emotional. Um, having a lack of passion, total apathy, just not feeling anything at all. Um, it could be sadness. It could be um, like a inability to express yourself, disengagement, any of those things. Now, as you can see, there are some notable cards here. This card, the Two of Cups, is whoops, flipped right over. Is known as the Soulmate card. Okay, and we talked about how it's about emotions and connection, right? So that's why this card would be represent, representative of um, a soulmate relationship or at the very minimum, deep connected bonding between people. Now, um, in these cup cards, you can often tell how someone is feeling, right? Like this person is sad. They're looking away. They're looking at their cups that have spilled. Now, each cup is containing your emotions. So they're spilled out, they're dumped over, they're all over the ground, making a mess. You're more focused on, on being a fucking mess than what you still have They're going for you emotionally. Um, this card is a very fun card for me, the Knight of Cups. So it could be, because horses and knights are all about taking action, you know, doing things, doing things that are emotional, you know, a romantic, because romance is also a key term for cup cards. This is like taking a romantic action towards someone. But it could also be interpreted as 
this guy's got a lot of emotion. He feels like he needs to do something with that. So he's riding his horse like this, right? What happens to the water in there? It just spills all over the place. So his emotions could be a little bit um, out of control. <laughs> this card, um, the Nine of Cups, is known across the world as the Wish card. Having your wishes fulfilled. Um, the Ace of Cups. You know, this is starting new emotional ventures. It could be new relationships, new love. The Ten of Cups. Um, this is the happily ever after card is what I like to call it. Everything that they've ever wanted. Their cups are full. All ten of them. You know, it's everything you've dreamed of. Another notable cups card. I guess, you know, half of the cups card are pretty notable. <laughs> um, the Seven of Cups. Now, this is one that comes up often when people get readings. So if you start reading for other people, you might see this one. Um, each cup here is filled with a different desire because cups can be about desires. What is it you want? Um, wands are more about the desires that you have, like the passion for them. But this is like how you're feeling. So this is more about your emotional motivation, what's important to you, right? So... It's about, well, all these things are important to me, but what's the most important thing to me? And all those clouds represent confusion. So I hope that's helpful as far as your overview goes for Cups card energies. And then um, next week, we'll do swords and pentacles together. Bye.